Hi, so it is quarter past 11 and I just got to my desk. Um, I got up relatively late today because I'm super tired and then I um, went for a walk with my dog and partner and toddler. So um, my toddler was walking rather than going in the backpack so it took quite a long time but we had a good time so that was nice and a nice way to start my day. So I'm just going to start by planning my like to-do list for the day um, giving myself like a few tasks like one main task and then a couple of like other like quick tasks or like less important ones lower priority um, things to do for when I start to feel that slump and um, yeah so that's what I'm going to start off with Hi, okay, so I've made my to-do list. I've made a quick YouTube video about my career path whilst I was waiting for my computer to load because it takes ages. Um, I've corrected a couple of plots that I need to put into my thesis because um, I had my axes the wrong way around on them. Daft mistake. And now I'm just making a few more plots um, for my thesis. They're probably gonna go in an appendix, but I think they look really nice. I'd be ashamed for them to not be in in my thesis document so I'm just doing that just now. The plots already exist but they're not like um, pretty up, they're not for anyone else's eyeballs and <laughs> then my own. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get my camera pointing at my screen so you can kind of see um, some of the plots whilst I do this. Okay so it's maybe not the best view but you can see some of the plots that I'm working on. Um, move my teacup out of the way. Um, so yeah, this is Mathematica. This is what I do a lot of my plotting in. Um, here are some of the plots that I'm making right now. Um, I'm just going through and changing my um, axes labels and stuff like that, making sure that they're big enough to go into my thesis. Um, Things don't have to be absolutely perfect because I tend to make final edits in PowerPoint, like you can see over here. Um, just I feel like I have a lot more control over um, just things like the uh, size of the text and stuff like that. Um, like I can and do change it on Mathematica, but sometimes I want to have a bit more control over like the axes, um, the axes names and stuff. And one of the main reasons I do this is that it actually saves me time because the number of times you make a mistake um, with a plot um, or you just want to edit a tiny thing, it's quite common. Or if you make a plot and then you want to put it in a talk and suddenly even though the axes were perfect to go in um, a paper, they're not perfect for a talk anymore. Um, so I do that and it just saves me a lot of time because I don't have to rerun all of my code to get the plot out. I can just do it from from PowerPoint. So that's the reason that I do that. Um, and it's relatively uncommon, I think, um, but I do know other people that do it as well. So I'm not alone in that strange um, behaviour. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that's what I'm up to right now. It's also giving me a good opportunity to just check um, that things are working correctly um, so that's also a good thing it's always good to double check these things before you do anything with them so I'm gonna stop for now I might try and explain some of what I'm up to in a bit but rather than making you feel seasick going through all of my Mathematica notebook I will um, give you a break. Hey, so I have just um, 
finished finalising some of the plots to put into pieces. Um, tidied them up and things and um, so I'm waiting for them to upload whilst I'm doing that I'm about to back up all of my data it's important to back up everything all your files so I'm gonna do a backup just now while I'm waiting for that to upload and then um, I have a couple more plots to make um, so yeah I'm trying to get as many plots done as possible today so that they're just in my thesis and I can start writing um, the words around them so that's my plan so I'm just waiting um, for my backup. It says it's going to take about 15 minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to um, deal with some admin. I need to send an email to one of the other PhD students in my group, so I'm going to do that. And then um, update um, something on my calendar. I need to make a talk for a conference and I need to pre-record it. Um, and I mean, given the date by which I need to send it in. So I need to plan how to get that talk finished um, and recorded. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do while I wait for my backup. Um, and then I'm getting kind of hungry, so I might have to go for lunch after that. <laughs> so I've sent my email and um, I have a few more things left. I think six things left on my to-do list at the moment, one of which is backing up, which is still happening, taking an age. Here's my desk while we're at it. <laughs> all of the all of the um astro art related things. Um some of which is even mine. Makes me happy. Anyway, I'm about to go for lunch um while I wait for this to happen and then probably at that point I'll get back to making some more figures. Um and uh yeah i might show you some more of them um if there's any that are particularly pretty so i'm just back from lunch um and thankfully my computer has finished backing up so that's good <sighs> Down. That's right. um has followed me upstairs so we're going to see how that's going to go um i'm going to make a couple more plots I'm planning to take the dog for a run in a bit. I haven't been able to get out for one in a while and it's nice weather um, but I've just eaten so I've got to give it an hour before I do that otherwise I will be spewing. So I think I've hopefully finished making all of the plots that I need today um, and I've just been uploading them to um, my thesis document which is um, in Overleaf, it's latex, latex actually, but spelt latex. Um, so yeah, I'm writing my thesis in Overleaf. Um, so it's all online, uh, which is good for many reasons. <laughs> and I don't have to worry quite so much about um, like backing up and stuff. Um, I'm just going through and checking that all of the figures that I need that I've made today have actually uploaded and then I'll be able to put them in to the document and talk about them, write about them at a later date. Um, yeah, so I think they're all in. I think I'm going to take the dog for a run now. Um, my brain is just like falling out of my ears um, from mind numbing work of trying to get my figures to look nice, um, which you can probably tell because I feel like I'm not being very coherent. So I'm going to get outside for some fresh air and some sunshine because it looks lovely and take my dog for a run. And then um, I need to update my thesis tracker when I get back, but that feels like a bit of an overwhelming task. So um, I might move that to tomorrow, see how we're going. Um, and I also had on my to-do list to look at another set of plots, um, similar to the ones that I've been flashing up on the screen uh, today, but three-dimensional plots. I'm not a massive fan of 3D plots because I think in 
um, in a document you can't really see them very well. It's fine if you have it on screen and you can twist it around and look at stuff, but if you're just putting it on a bit of paper, I'm not really a massive fan. But I do think in this case it might be helpful for the reader um, to have one or two, but I'm not making them for all of the things I've looked at because I think that it's only helpful alongside kind of 2D plots. Um, so I don't know if any of that made any sense. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to you more about this project um, at a later date, but right now it's quite, it's still relatively early on, so I can't really say that much about the science. Um, still a bit on the down low. Does that, do kids still say that these days? I don't know, I'm such an old person. Um, so yeah, um, I might try and get my 3D plots to work but at the moment I'm having issues <laughs> with that bit of code. I have a bug in it somewhere and I don't know where, so I'll have to see how how motivated I am and how um, determined I'm feeling when I get back, because I feel like debugging code requires a certain mindset. Um, you have to be quite dog with a bony, ready to just like obsess over it until you find it. Um, oh, that's my experience anyway. So we'll see. Hello, I'm just back in from my run and can I get a drink? So I went for my run, had a shower after, and I managed to break the camera on my phone. Um, so that's why I haven't, um, recorded anything up until this point. My front camera's fine, my back camera is not fine. So I'm gonna hopefully try and see if I can get that fixed over the weekend. No idea how that happened, just took it out of my pocket and it was broken, so that was not ideal. Anyway, so after my shower I've just been chilling out and spending time with family, because I was a bit grumpy. <laughs> so yeah, that's like, the rest of my day is probably a write-off. I'm gonna try and get a bit more thesis writing done tonight, but 